Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, and I'm with Wikibon.org, and this is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.tv's production, where we bring you the smartest people that we can find. We like to extract the signal from the noise and package it up and provide it to you. I'm at D Vellante, if you want to tweet me. Uh, at Stu is my co-host, and uh, he, Stu's also with Wikibon, so if you have any questions or comments, you know, please send them. We're here right now with another customer segment. We've been having a number of these customer segments at the Dell Storage Forum, a lot of good proof points. Dell is I'm impressed by the way that Dell is able to provide uh, great customer guests and, and you know, proof points. Uh, Donald Wilkins is the director of IT at a, a company called Navicure uh, out of Georgia. Uh, first of all, Donald, welcome to theCUBE. I'm, I'm glad Th to be here. Thanks for taking time out. And uh, this is actually your, I guess, uh, first and a half Dell storage form. The first one you said was in uh, Dallas as an Equalogic customer. This is the first full sort of you know, belly to belly Dell storage forum that yes. uh, that you've attended. Right? What do you think? I'm in, I'm impressed. A, a lot of good information uh, and a lot of good networking with some of the ex people that uh, we've we've exchanged a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, history of how we've uh, grown with our infrastructure and how they've grown. It's been a good a good connection. Yeah, you, you come to these events and obviously the keynotes are are good. You get good messaging and they're playing music and it's very slick, but. Um, there's a, it seems to be a lot of rich breakout sessions, um, a lot of detail there. Have you been able to attend a number of those? Or? I've, I've dropped in on a, on a few and uh, it's, it's been very beneficial. Uh, I've taken away some piece of information I didn't think about uh, uh, previously and, I've, and I've, I've dealt with some of the technologies. We use VMware, we use a number of different options and, and there's some things that I've learned. So it's been a, it's been a, great, uh, uh, a great experience so far. So tell us about Navicure, what do you guys do? Uh, we are, we're a healthcare claims clearinghouse. We handle healthcare claims from uh, physicians as they transfer those to the insurance uh, provider, uh, the insurance payer. Uh, it's a strictly electronic form of data interchange. So we refer to it in the old, old days of EDI. And uh, so we're, we're after, we're, our, we're all about making uh, the doctor's uh, reimbursement uh, for, his, for the insurance claims a much better process. Okay, so. Um, I want to get into that in some detail because you've got, you're very process driven, I'm sure. Yes. Um, and, uh, but before we do that, just tell us a little bit about your IT environment. First of all, your role as, as director of IT. Uh, I presume you're doing a lot of different things, uh, but maybe talk about that and then we'll get into sort of your environment. So, I mean, my role at the company evolves every day. I mean, it's, it's, I wear a lot of different hats. Uh, the mile wide uh, and inch deep methodology, so I, I know a little about a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and my whole goal in our infrastructure is keep things simple. And, and it, I don't want to introduce too much complexity in the environment because there's not enough uh, really hands to, to dig deep, deep into, into issues. I want to be able to make sure we can manage things in a simple manner. Uh, our infrastructure has evolved through the years. We are a growing company. We grow 20 to 30 percent each year. Our customer base is continually growing, and uh, and each year that's just a magnitude, a multiplier every year as we keep growing the business. Uh, our storage has ballooned uh, year after year after year. We keep adding more storage, needing more performance, needing more capacity, and uh, our choice uh, for the Ecologic product is is has really proven itself over the years. How much storage do you have? Uh, we're currently just shy of 400 uh, terabytes of storage. We have currently 38 Ecologic arrays, uh, which is, which uh, is the entire spectrum of their product line from the original uh, flagship product shipping in their early 2000s. 2004 was our original purchase to the current hybrid stuff that's shipping today. And how long you been with? Uh, eight years. Yeah, sure. Okay, so you were there at the beginning when the when the when the company brought in uh, Ecologic. That when you obviously involved in that decision to do so. Yes. Take us back to that point. Uh, what did the environment look like pre-Equalogic? Pre-Equalogic, we were a uh, small organization, very small. Uh, you know, we started the company with only four employees. Uh, I was part-time at the time we started the company. We took three years of, let's decide what we want to do with the infrastructure. Let's, let's outsource our storage to a third-party provider in our data center, and, and let's see where the things goes. Uh, and, and and as we kept growing in business, growing in customers, and, and, and we decided we need to insource our storage because we need more control over the, the flexibility we need to grow at the pace we needed. Uh, having it outsourced really handcuffed our ability to grow, our ability to, to build development environments, to build uh, you know, test cases and do things 
uh, and, and the outsource provider couldn't move fast enough for us. We need to move at a faster pace. You were outsourcing to a managed hosting company or it was, was it, uh, it was a company that was in the co-location facility we were uh, we were in that provided fiber channel storage for us uh, it it you know they basically carved out space for us and they managed it for us um, and, and in 2004 we got into a position we need to build more development environments we need to have more space and so we looked at various uh, product offerings uh, the the larger names the net apps the EMCs uh, and, and then we, you know, we got introduced to an Equalogic, uh, and it's really uh, turned our our thought processes around. When you can bring an array in, set it up on a conference table, and turn it on, and uh, and connect to it, and use the GUI, and really almost understand the product within 20 or 30 minutes uh, of, of of being introduced to it, uh, which really gave us its excitement uh, around the product. We tried it for six months. We brought it in for development test. We bought one, brought it in for development test. We liked it for six months. We decided to put it in production, and we haven't looked back since. So, um, you said you were employee number four, if I heard that correctly? Uh, four or and a half. Four I'm and a half, half. Okay. part-time guy. Yeah. Okay, but so, yeah. at that point, when you were evaluating Equalogic, you were really responsible for that evaluation, right? Uh, for the most part, yes. Yeah, okay. So it was just kind of your call. Um, and that, that coincided with your, your VMware? Initiative or v VMware didn't come along till a couple of years later. Uh, VMware came into the into the mix primarily for disaster recovery, looking at a way to one grow our environment really fast, really quick, and virtualization was the way to do it. We were at a turning point in the life cycle where we knew we had to add a lot of servers, a lot of functionality, a lot of different add-ons to our existing infrastructure. Again. When you're growing and you're starting small, you have very small footprint, and we were starting to ramp up at a much faster pace. Virtualization allowed us to do that without without the bolt, without the infrastructure of having all these servers racked up and, and having to deal with consolidation. Consolidation was not a problem for us because we didn't have the infrastructure, but we knew we needed it You know, years two, three, four, five, six later. So, okay, so the, the VMware came a little bit later. Uh, um, so I want you to take us back to that point at which you decided to go with this this company from New Hampshire, right, that was a startup, you know, nobody ever got fired for buying IBM, right? And right, so, yeah, yeah. so you stuck that. your neck out and said, yeah, nobody ever, by the way, nobody ever got fired for coming to the Cube, so. Uh, well, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> so, so we get back to the office. Yeah, yeah, right. So you stuck your neck out uh, and did that, and, and um, what was that like? I mean, you're taking some risks there. Well, I mean, we did take some risk, but I looked at it from, I, I really asked this question, at the time, we were a startup ourselves. Our customers have took a risk on us, and we've proven it wrong, and I knew that, you know, maybe I need to take a risk on this product because I looked at the other other products and I knew, you know, three, four, five years down the road, I got a forklift and start over. Mm -hmm. And this technology allows you to bolt on and build on and keep adding to it like bricks, like you're building a building and you're putting a brick in here and a brick in there. You can build it as you need to, you can grow as you need to, and having a cash flow as a, as a, uh, as a, a constraint early on in the business that needed, that you know, really had to watch its dollars, which everybody does today anyway, but we had to really focus on that, and so it allowed us to invest as we made money, as we needed to, versus buying everything up front, and, 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 and paying for all that licensing fees, everything up front, and then having to sit on it for a year or two, as we had to plan for three, four, or five years down, down the road. We can actually plan at a, at, a, at a smaller segment, a year or two, because Two years is a long time in IT, and, and especially in our business where we're going 20, 30%, that's a magnitude growth that we have to deal with. New product offering, uh, a database explosion, all this just would be totally different in two years. And we didn't feel like we wanted to rip out and replace our storage. Every, so, every, every okay, so that's, that's interesting. So you had a higher risk tolerance than maybe you know, some other companies. You're a startup, Ecologic is a startup. Obviously you're focused on cash flow, that fit in nicely. Particularly the perpetual licensing model, yes. right, that they have, which is, I think, very attractive. So you, you're not going to choke on maintenance the way you might with some other organizations. So there's that risk-reward balance, and, and so you took that chance. And then, so it works out, and then Dell buys Equalogic. So what was your reaction to that? And take us through sort of what's happened subsequent to that acquisition. Well, it, you know, initially had a knee-jerk reaction. Hey, you know, don't break my support. I love the guys in New Hampshire. They, they do a very good job make sure you keep that, that group intact because uh, you know that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm, we're still that customer today. 
we love the product. We love the sports team uh, at Nashua. They were doing a very good job, and so we were impressed. Don't break that for me. Uh, because, I mean, you know, not having that great success with some of the servers, you know, support in the past, we wanted to keep that, that, that great performance that we're getting out of New Hampshire with the support staff, and uh, that, was our, that was my mission, initial concern. Then you look back and, and, and you say, well, Dell had a better economy of scale. Dell had a better way of, of taking Equalogic to another level, and uh, by themselves, maybe they couldn't have done it. Maybe they could, but definitely Dell allows them to do, be able to do that. Yeah, so... Um, and so, okay, so subsequent to that, your concerns were nullified because the, the support uh, was maintained, I, improved? I think, what I was think the experience like? Dale listened to all our existing Ecologic customers and said, there, there's something here. There's, there's a reason why every one of these customers is saying, don't mess with my support. Uh, and I think Dale listened. Dale kept the team intact. Dale kept the, the research and development up in New Hampshire. Uh, and, the, and the level two, level three guys are there. They are. Uh, they listened to it and they kept it intact. And, and since then, they you know they constantly you got to evolve it. You know they're bigger and bigger. You get you got to make adjustments. Uh, and they've been able to do that, keeping the core uh, tenants intact. So what do you make of the announcements this week? They talk about the converged infrastructure. Uh, Pete Course was up on stage and he showed the the shrunken equal logic array. <laughs> um, what, what, what does that mean to you? Uh, is that something that you're going to be interested in? or? Well, the, 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 the Blade Storage Array was, I mean, it has some interest. Uh, you know, we're, we're a lot bigger than that now, so it may not apply to our environment. Definitely, I, I would see, if I was a, you know, getting into storage or getting into server consolidation, especially when looking at Blade Systems, it would be almost a no-brainer. Uh, has a lot of value for it. Uh, uh, but you know we've got a large investment already in Equalogic and a lot of bigger units that um, that provide a, uh, you know our, our infrastructure, uh, it, so it probably doesn't apply to us mm -hmm. uh, unless there's a special case for it. But uh, definitely a smaller business or maybe a midsize that, that that is starting to you know add to the infrastructure, adding more uh, sand storage. Yes. So what's your IT environment like? Are you are your are your budgets growing? Are they flat? Are they down? Uh, you know our budget grows some. I mean, cost, we're in a 23 percent growth cycle every year. 20 to 30 percent of our business grows. We uh, and so that means uh, we have to we have to adjust our budgets accordingly. Uh, you know, of course, we want to do less with more or do more with less. And, and so, yeah, we our budgets don't grow at the pace of our of our of our sales and our and our growth in the business, uh, but we do tell leverage new technologies, you know, new consolidated efforts and and dedupe and other things that allow us to you know kind of slow the growth and re you know keep things in a in a night simple manner. Uh, but our environment, uh, we have an Oracle database, and Oracle database is central to our to our operating. Uh, that database is 18 terabytes, and and, and that database grows at two terabytes annually. Are you uh, good? Sorry. And so uh, it is central, and uh, and and we all run that on Equalogic uh, storage. Now, we upgrade that storage every year, two or three, uh, and we move that older storage to other environments where it's more suited. Uh, but we take it. We so as we buy new storage, we look at what's the best stuff out there. What's the most best performing stuff? Let's put it in production. Let's move the production stuff down the line to other environments that may not need that fastest stuff. But, it, but, but, but they need more horsepower, more capacity. So we're constantly shifting stuff around. Equalogic allows us to do that. Most monolithic chassis-based storage systems don't. Are you um, virtualizing the applications that are running on your Oracle database? Uh, Oracle itself is not virtualized. It's a large Oracle rack cluster. Uh, it, it, it's a little problematic to do that. Uh, but our web servers, our Java middleware, and a lot of other uh, uh, things we run are all virtualized. We have a virtualization first policy like a lot of companies do. Uh, if, I, if I don't virtualize it, I got to have a good reason. Uh, and it's got to be something you know, that, that, that requires that. Is, um, is the reason because Oracle is not really that friendly toward you virtualizing? They have an uh, anti-virtualization policy. Oh, anti-VMware. Well, that too. Policy. I yeah. mean, you know, well, anti-virtualization, anything other than theirs. It, right? Other than OVM, yeah, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. why didn't you go with OVM? Okay, I'm, I'm biting VMware, my tongue and, I'm v tongue in cheek here, but go ahead, tell me why uh, you didn't go with OVM. VMware has uh, uh, many more years of, 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 of R&D and product offerings that nobody matches today. Uh, we use Site Recovery Manager in our disaster recovery planning, and Site Recovery Manager allows us to script our DR plan, and most everybody else doesn't provide that today. Uh, that is a 
cornerstone of some of our virtualization. That's one of the reasons we try to virtualize everything because as soon as I virtualize it, I've got a ZAST recovery process already in place for it. Have you thought about virtualizing your uh, Oracle apps or, or Oracle database and damn the torpedoes, or is it just too risky from a support uh, standpoint? It's, it's well, the, it, it's we we have too much too much CPU to to deal with virtualization. It doesn't bias anything. Yeah, I okay. Mean, so we, so it's not a business case. We've for got it. eight way boxes and three or four in a cluster, uh, and they're you know forty fifty percent used. Uh, there's not a lot of overhead that we can, you know, that, that we really think virtualization would give us. Yeah, so it's really not worth it. Um, that's interesting. So, um, so what's the, let me ask you this. Uh, what's on Dell's to-do list from a storage standpoint? I mean, obviously we're talking about the things they do very well. You're clearly a very happy and loyal Equalogic customer. What would you like to see them do a better job of? You know, the, the, Obfuscating the different product offerings under Dell and making everything kind of come together with this fluid architecture is is a is a neat uh, uh, design and, and 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 offering that they're doing, and allowing me if I had to put in a compellent solution or I had to to back up to the cloud or or I've got to you know uh, do other things in my organization, build my own private cloud or whatever I need to do. They're, they're taking all that and combining all these, the best features of all these different products and putting it together and saying, you can do that and you don't have to be an Ecologic customer, you don't have to be a compellent customer to take advantage of this, we're, make, we're bringing it all together. And so in seeing they're doing all that and they're not like some of the other companies that, so well you got to bolt this on, you got to bolt that on. Um, you know, they're actually taking the intellectual property of every one of these products and putting it in the other product and, and putting it here and putting it there Whereas you're saying it's 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 not an extra license feature here, license feature there. They're just doing a good job of bringing it all together, and I, I like to see more of this happen. Uh, it, you know, kind of everyone every time I, I visit something, I say, oh, I could be doing that, or I could be doing this, giving me thought processes for the next few years as I as we look to try to you know slow down some of our growth in data and, and our growth and acquisitions for more storage. Uh, but also give me other processes with the, the caching of, uh, of the SSDs on the servers that was announced this morning and what they're working on for the next year. That's something we're looking at. Mm. We're looking at speeding our customers, uh, 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 speeding up the response time to our, our application so our customers can do more uh, in less time. So you're excited about the vision? I am, yeah. I am. I'm pretty did you, excited. Did you take a trip to New Hampshire this week? Or? Yes, I did. Yeah, how was that? Uh, I actually took me eight years to get up there, and I'm pretty happy I got there finally. Met some good, uh, good, good people, some people that I spoke to years ago in support, and shook their hand finally, so that was great. Yeah, I think um, I, I, if they're not the biggest, they got to be one of the biggest, Ecologic slash Dell uh, uh, employers in New Hampshire. There's a lot of talent in this area, you know, East Coast, mini computer companies, and you know, the old digital crew. I, th I know many of the folks have ended up at Equalogic, so there's a good talent pool there. And, you know, as somebody from New England, we're very happy to see the Dell maintain that, that presence in New Hampshire. My other question uh, before we break here is, how do you, Donald, back up all your data? Uh, we use, uh, uh, so anyway, I, I mentioned Cyber Recovery Manager is integral to, to our, our, our disaster recovery plan, but we use a lot of snapshots of replication. So snapshots for, for quick, quick recovery. We replicate to our other facility for multiple copies and you know some kind of a uh, short-term recovery uh, you know we do send to tape some stuff uh, for archival type purposes we are, are in a healthcare space so there are some some time requirements for us to keep data for seven years mm -hmm. so we do keep data on tape but uh, we we primarily rely on a lot of snapshots and replication and so we've had that since day one of the product yeah, I mean tape at the end of the day, if you want a cheap way to well, deep archive that's, it. That's the way we do it. I and mean, it's, and well, we, we didn't implement tape until last year. So uh, yeah. we, we've been snapshots of replicas up until last year, and we said, well, you know, we're tired of buying disks to put this on. Let's put it on tape and stick, stick it in the, in well, the safe. Plus so. it, you know, God forbid, if you ever really have to get to it, the yeah, well, fastest it's, way to get to it is to stick a bunch of tapes in a truck and drive it somewhere. So how about Apashore? Is that something that you're looking at? Uh, you know, we, we just made it, like I said, last year we just made an acquisition for tape software, probably not looking at it anytime uh, immediate, maybe next year in a budget mm -hmm. cycle. 
you know what's what's key with Aperture is the integration they're doing with all the different products mm -hmm. that will make us look at Aperture. So you want um, to see that, like you yeah, were saying before, yeah. and then that's going to just going to make it that more will and more be attractive. The, that will be the the piece of the piece that would make us really want to jump on that. And say we've got full integration with Equalogic, we got full integration with Capellant. Now we and and so and plus it allows me to take a. a like they announced this morning, to take my uh, my physical box, if I have to have a physical, I can restore it to the cloud in a virtual environment uh, with Aperture. That's cool. All right, Donald. Well, listen, thanks very much for coming right. in on theCUBE. Appreciate it. Really great meeting you. Uh, outstanding case study, Dell. Listening to its customers, you know, we're seeing Dell really push the vision of integration. Um, customers like Donald want to see it faster. It's not trivial, but the fact that Dell is putting such an emphasis on this, uh, to me anyway, is a real differentiator uh, that I see in the marketplace from some of the other companies that we follow. So this is SiliconAngle.tv's The Cube. We're live from Dell Storage Forum. Keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest from Boston. Thanks for watching.